Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is problem solving. Uh, we're going to multiply some money, so we're going to use the strategy uh, draw a diagram. So how can we use that strategy to help solve, solve uh, decimal multiplication problems? Okay, here we go. Uh, John and his friends are saving money for a field trip. So far, John has saved $3.75. Julie has saved three times as much as John. And Bob has saved $5.25 more than Julie. So how much has Bob saved? Okay, so Let's go through. We're going to read the problem. What do we need to find out? Well, we need to find out how much money Bob has saved. So how much money Bob has saved. So what we're going to do is uh, the information that we need to use is we need to use the amount saved by all three of them. Uh, saved by John. Uh, then we'll find the amount saved by Julie, and that'll give us the amount saved by Bob. Okay? So I just slid that up right there. So how can we use this information? We can draw a diagram to show how much each has spent. So we're going to draw boxes here. So, so let's go ahead. So um, the amount of money Julie and Bob saved depends on the amount of money that John saved. So here we'll draw a diagram to help compare the amounts without calculations. So we'll do uh, adding, actually. So then we'll use the diagram to find the amount that each saved. Okay, so first of all, it says that John saved uh, $3.75. So there's a box right there. And then right here it says Julie saved three times as much as that. So we're going to draw three boxes right there, okay? Oops, I have uh, extras for Bob there. Well, let's put in um, $3.75 in each one of that because it's three times that. So $3.75, $3.75, $3.75, okay? And then it says down here, it says Bob has saved uh, $5.25 more than Julie. So he's going to have these same three bars plus another one for the $5.25 right there. He saved as much as Julie plus $5.25 more right there, okay? So uh, John saved uh, $3.75. Julie saved three times $3.75. And I added those up over here so you can see I added them up. Five plus five is five. <laughs> Plus 5 is 15, so carry that 1. And so it ends up being 11.25, how much Julie saved. And then so Bob saved what Julie saved plus the 5.25. So he saved $16.50. Uh, 50 okay? So Bob saved 16.50. All right, let's try another one. Uh, Scott saved a savings account has a balance of $57.85 in January. By March, his balance is four times as much as his uh, balance in January. So between March and November, Scott deposits a total of $78.45. So if he does not withdraw any money from his account, what should Scott's balance be? Okay, my students uh, often see a word problem and they freeze and they don't even try to do that. Let's break it down one sentence at a time. So let's do the $57.85 for January. Okay, we'll draw a diagram. So well, we, what do we need to find? We need to find uh, Scott's balance in November, it looks like. So um, it says right there. So what is it? It's usually the last question. What do we need to find? So we should find Scott's balance in November, it says right there. What information are we going to use? Well, we know that uh, he started with that 57.85. And then by March, his balance increased by four times that. So by four times that right there. And then after that, uh, he deposits an additional 78.45. So how are we going to use this information? Well, we're going to draw a diagram to represent the ending balance of January, March, and November. Okay, so here it says uh, we started with 57.85 in, in January. Okay, and then it says by March his balance is four times that. So we're going to draw four of these with 57.85 in that. Okay. All right, and then it says uh, by November he deposits an additional 78.45. So he has this much in there right now. So we're going to deposit that much more. So so this right here says four times 57.85 because there's four boxes over here, and I just added up over here 57.85 four times. You can see I carried all these. For example, five plus five is ten, plus five is fifteen, plus five is twenty. So there's the zero for the twenty, and carry the two. And then 8 plus 8 is 16, plus 8 is uh, 24, 32, 33, 34. So there's my 4, there's my 3. And anyway, so we get $231.40. That's what 4 of those are right there. And then remember, he deposited another 78.45. So we're going to add those together right there. So Scott's November balance is going to be the sum or the addition of $231.40 plus $78.45. And we get a total of his ending balance is $309.85. Okay, nice quick lesson. Okay, take care, you guys.